Oi, eu sou a Maria Clara e o nosso vídeo de hoje é uma entrevista com o Roger Igman, que é diretor da Network of Wellbeing, uma organização que trabalha junto com os moradores locais na cidade de Totnes, na Inglaterra, para melhorar o bem-estar dos cidadãos. Vamos ver o que ele falou com a gente. At the Network of Wellbeing, we have three missions, all connected to making wellbeing the center of public policy and wellbeing the central goal of our societies. Firstly, we're interested in connecting people who are passionate about well-being and ways that it can be improved so that we can work together and learning more from each other. Secondly, we're about trying practical projects to make well-being better. For example, in Totnes, we run a share shed where people can borrow things that they would otherwise have to buy, therefore saving money, saving the world's resources, but also enabling them to have a much greater connection with others in their community. Thirdly, we're about promulgating the well-being message across the world and particularly about the changes in the economy. Far too much of our economy is focused around promoting economic growth just for the, as an end in itself rather than thinking does it make people happier and what we're saying is we should focus on that last question. If it doesn't make people happier we shouldn't be doing it. We live in a world that's dominated by big companies and what those big companies are saying to us is that happiness and well-being is achieved through buying things. You see it all over in advertising. Buy a certain brand of cigarette and you'll feel better. Buy, have a drink and you'll feel better. But that's not the answer. That's not the route to well-being. Our work is grounded on good science and also on an awful lot of the teachings that people have been saying are good for people since the ancient Greeks and, and some of the major religions of the world. And what the science is telling us is that there are things that we can all do individually to improve our own well-being and our own happiness. And the government in this country has distilled those into five simple actions that we can all take. They are take notice of yourself and your surroundings, connect with others, that's the most important thing, be an active person that's actually engaged with your friends, with your family, with wider society. Take physical exercise, be active physically, whether it's through dance, through movement, through sport or anything, so that you're giving your body a good workout. Learn every day. If you can treat your life as a, a lifelong learning lesson, you'll be much happier, much more satisfied at the end of it. And give. Give of yourself, whether it be your money, your time, your labour, to a cause that you really believe in, because that's the way to long-term human fulfilment. Well-being is all about being happy. It's about being satisfied with your life. It's about feeling your life has a reason and a purpose. And ultimately, that's what we hear people say is really important to them. People think that things like wealth, things like uh, social connections, they, in many cases, what, what they, they matter because of the benefits they give to people. And ultimately, well-being is what people are looking for. And that's why we believe rather than worrying about how rich we are, rather than worrying about whether we have the latest fashions, rather than worrying about who won the football, what we should concentrate on is, are we happy? Are we satisfied with our life? Is our life going somewhere we want to? If we do that and focus society around that, that'll make everybody a lot happier.